how to make a battery from coins when the grid is dead, the lights are gone, and your phone is just a shiny brick. Why? Because the apocalypse doesn't take Venmo. No signal, no power, no electricity. Cities are silent, gas pumps don't breathe, and the last candle in your bunker is choking on wax. You need a spark. Not for Netflix. Forget that. But for survival. Radios, lights, or that one pathetic phone charge. Start with coins. Pennies, nickels, whatever shiny relics you can scavenge from wallets or dead vending machines. Tear cardboard from junk mail or food boxes. Soak it in vinegar, lemon juice, or any acid you can find. Pickles, spoiled juice, battery acid if you hate your skin. Now, stack it. Coin, soaked cardboard, coin. Alternate copper with zinc if you've got it. If not, keep stacking like a desperate goblin hoarding change. Each layer makes a tiny current. Stack 10, 20, 30 layers, and congrats, you just built a crude wet cell battery. The acid breaks down metals, electrons flow, and bam, electricity. Not much, but enough to light an LED or make a radio whisper. Don't lick it, don't short it out unless you want sparks in your lap, and don't expect it to run a fridge. This is apocalypse juice, not Tesla power. Wire it up with scraps, aluminum foil, bent nails, old headphone cords. If it glows, if it buzzes, if your radio coughs back static, you did it. You turned pocket change into survival. The grid is gone, but science isn't. Welcome to the end of the world, powered by spare change.